chief in southern province. He's a chief for all the people in western, northern, central, etc., etc. And some of us who are so traditional, brought up in a traditional way, have a lot of respect for their royal highnesses. Suffice to state that Chiprufia Tayali was not speaking for and on behalf of the Bemba people. There is nobody who has been given the responsibility to be the spokesperson of the Bemba people. To my knowledge, the spokesperson of the Bemba people is one of the Vashlu members, who is the chief, uh, who is the chief uh, among the Vashlu members who advise the Muinelu Bemba. If there is any communication, it either has to be through the Muinelu Bemba or one of the Vashru members assigned by the Chitimuku. So for our dear brother Tayali to say that all members who support the UPND or Akainde Ichilema are useful idiots is very unfortunate and should not be tolerated by anybody. Bembas in their individual capacities as citizens of the Republic of Zambia have a choice of which political party they can uh, support. We should not as a country subscribe and support any form of tribalism, regionalism, regional voting, etc., etc. Me, when I spoke about tribal voting and regional voting, I was called a tribalist. And yet I was only warning people against voting on tribal uh, lines and also voting on regional lines and i am on record you can check when i was in northern province in wapula province and muchinga province because wapula province muchinga province and northern province were at some time one province i said on radio and on public forum that even me chishimbaka mwiri if I come to this province or among the Bembas and say you should vote for me because I'm Bemba or that you should vote for a Bemba president, you should reject me. I am on record having said that. How many politicians have gone to their provinces and say, if I come here and say you vote for me as your own, you should reject me. So to call me a tribalist is actually unfair. What I was talking about in the last election is to vote on tribal lines, talking against voting on tribal lines and regional lines. Because this is what has the potential to divide this country. At no time in my discourse, if I ever gone to Northern Province and say you should vote a member president, even when Mr. Sata was president, I've never done that. And I can challenge anybody. I was MP in Wansha, which is a Lamba land. If I don't believe in diversity of tribes, I would have gone to stand in Porokoso where I come from. But I aspired to be MP and elected in Lumberland. So those people who call me a tribalist are just trying to confuse people. And going forward, you see how I will fight tribalism to the bitter end. I will fight regionalism to the bitter end. And let me say this. When I say that we must fight tribalism in deeds, in words, and in action. 
Chelsea Tayali was talking about some form of tribalism. Today is arrested. My dear brother, the, the Secretary General of UPND, two days ago issued a statement which borders on tribalism and he has not been arrested. In case Zambians you don't know, he went to issue a statement that Chishimba Kambwidi used tribal sentiments against the people of Central Province, the people of Lumberland, Copper Belt, the people of Northwestern, the people of Southern Province, and the people of Western Province. That is tribalism of the worst kind, and being economical with the truth. During the 2021 20, general elections, I only talk about the voting in Southern Province, and I was not derogatory to the Tonga people. I talked about voting in Southern Province, and I was against that kind of voting, that supposing the people in Northern Province also start voting only for a Bemba president, supposing the people in Copper Belt start voting for a, 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 a number president, suppose the people in Eastern Province start voting for an Easterner, then we are going to destroy this country. And the statistics to show the voting in southern province is there for everybody to see. So for my dear brother, Imenda, to go and issue a statement that come with, he used the derogatory statement <coughs> to the people in Copper Belt, Central, Northwestern, Western, and Southern, is an excellent lie, and it must be condemned by all well-meaning Zambians. Because the whole idea for him to say that is to paint a name to these regions that Kambui does not like you, is tribal against you. That is tribalism. And I challenge the police to arrest uh, Imenda and charge him with a case of libel against me. The way Savoy Imboil has been arrested and charged for libel against uh, Hamasaka at State House. Then the people will take us seriously that we are fighting tribalism in deeds, in action, and in words. But if you are going to be selective in who should be charged for tribal sentiments, then we are not going to succeed in fighting tribalism. I want to tell the people of Zambia, I want to say to a Tonga lady, young lady, very nice young lady, who has given us very beautiful nephews and nieces. My young sister, Sampakamwiri, is married to a Mr. Kadesha, a Tonga, who has given me very beautiful uh, uh, nephews and nieces. My young brother, my young sister, Lombe, is married to Mr. Mudenda, a Tonga, who has given us very beautiful uh, 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 nephews. My elder brother, Dr. Kamwidi, was married to, the, his first wife was Lozi. My own daughter, Mutale Kamwidi, is getting married to a Lozi. Surely a person who has got that diversity in terms of intermarriages can be referred to as a tribalist. And by the way, all my brothers and sisters below me were educated by me in my house. And the bride price for these marriages has been handled by me. So for those who want to create an impression that Kambuid is a tribalist, please stop it. Stop it. I'm not a tribalist. And I'm challenging the police to arrest Imenda the way Tayali has been arrested. Because if Imenda is not going to be arrested, then all we are losing out on all this tribal fight. Because two people issue tribal sentiments. One is arrested, the other one is let free. People will not take us seriously.
I want to condemn in all and strongest terms and with the contempt that tribalism deserves. Zambia shall never develop if we are going to have appointments based on tribe, appointments based on region, arrests based on uh, region, and whatever and whatever. We should all stand up and say no to tribalism, no to regionalism, no to appointments that have got a character of regionalism or tribalism. I will never subscribe to tribalism myself because I don't believe in it. And I will never believe in it. And I want to invite everybody, every Zambian, to join me in this fight against tribalism. It doesn't matter who utters words of tribalism, whether Bemba, it must be followed, whether Tonga, it must be followed, Lozi, it must be followed, uh, 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 Namwanga must be followed, Nsenga must be followed, and condemned by all well-meaning Zambians. You are not going to condemn others for being tribal and accept others. It doesn't work out that way. What my dear brother did, the Secretary General of, uh, of UPND, is an offense under the Cyber Security Act. But for, for, for coming behavior of tribalism, we must look at each other as Zambians. I have said and I want to say it again. When we go out of this country, nobody is identified that, oh, this is a lousy man. This is a Tonga man. They all tell us Zambians. The passports that we carry does not have the, the, the provision for a tribe. It only calls us Zambians. And we need to be united and love one another and treat one another fairly. This brings me to this issue. In this country, fellow citizens, countrymen and women, every time there is mobile registration of national registration cards, every time from the Kaunda time, when the government wants to undertake nation, mobile national registration exercise, the Minister of Home Affairs goes to Parliament, informs Parliament and the country that we are going to undertake the exercise of nation, mobile national registration. And he outlines the program as per province, all the provinces. He will give a program that from June to July, we shall be northern province. From July to whatever month we shall be in Eastern Province. I am so shocked that right now there is national registration, mobile national registration going on in two provinces without informing the nation about that program. National registration officials drawn from the police the uh, immigration and those from national registration uh, department have been gathered and put in groups to undertake national mobile to undertake mobile registration in two provinces and they are going village to village usually what happens is that they do it per constituents but this time, they are doing it village to village. There has been no communication from Minister of Home Affairs why this exercise is being done and whether the other provinces will also be done. These are things that bring suspicion. These are things that make other people think that the government is practicing regionalism. And I want the Minister of Home Affairs to answer on this. How did this national registration, I mean mobile registration, start in these two provinces? 
where are we getting the funding for this? When are the other provinces going to be undertaken? Why didn't we inform the country about this program? Why didn't the Minister of Home Affairs go to Parliament to inform Parliament? Because we've only heard about this exercise by way of one chief from one area who went on radio and said, I am very happy with the registration that is going on. And for the first time, this is being done village to village and our people have registered in mass. Then we started investigating. Is there a mobile national registration card going on at the moment? We tried to, to, to ask from our colleagues who are working in this department and we were told, yes, there is this. We have been drawn from other provinces and we are working in these two provinces carrying out national mobile national registration from village to village. This is what we need to avoid. This is what we need to avoid in order for us to fight regionalism, to fight tribalism. Colleagues, fellow countrymen, this country will end up like uh, 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 Luanda if we are not careful with the way we conduct ourselves, both in word and in action, or indeed in deeds. So can the Minister of Home Affairs shed light on the ongoing mobile national registration card village to village in two provinces so that the people of Zambia can therefore say, right. But like I've said, from Kaunda time to date, these programs have been announced to the country these programs have been uh, 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 taken to parliament to inform the people's elected representatives so that they can go and sensitize their people. But this round time, it has been quiet. So, in conclusion, let us fight tribalism at all costs. We should not allow tribalism at all costs. Even when you go online, me, I believe in calling a spade a spade and not a spade a pick for the sake of impressions. You'd find that more often than not, if a man from Southern Province goes online today, you find that people from other regions are insulting that uh, particular person. And people from the province where he comes from are... <laughs> cheering such a person. Equally, when a person from Northern Province, a politician, goes online, you'd find one section of the country is insulting on social media, and the other section of the country is uh, cheering. This is a dangerous sign. This is a dangerous sign. And if we don't fight this animal called tribalism, we are all going to regret. I don't want my Lusuvilo. I don't want my Makwaza. I don't want my niece Mutinta, my nephew Lushomo, to be caught in the web of tribalism. Just like I wouldn't want my, uh, my, my, my grandson, Eli Chishimbakambwiri, to be caught in this web of tribalism. Mbaba I want every politician worth their sort to go to their provinces and say, you should vote for me because I have the ability to save you. And if I am coming to you that vote for me because I am Bemba or I come from Northern Province, you should reject me. Then would be seen to be having a level playing field. Tayari is arrested. Bumba Malambo, who said, as Tongas, we must vote for the Tonga president, for the Tonga MP, for the Tonga councillor. 
is still in office. These are issues of double standards that should not be tolerated. It cannot be tribalism for others and not tribalism for others. Let us level the playing field. Chishimba Kambwili. Patriot. One Zambia, one nation. I thank you all.